Hello. Hello. Hey, Missy. Hello. Hey, I'm not sure. Does it show on your screen that my name says Missy Jemison? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's weird. I'll just I'll just be you today. Thanks. Did you uh, click from the email that what was sent this morning? Okay, that's probably why because that link uh, let you just come straight into the meeting without registering. So it was probably from my uh, email. Do you want me to go back out? And no, come it's in fine. As it's fine. We okay. know who you are. <laughs> okay. Uh, Missy tells me that uh, there are about um, a dozen or so registered, and so um, we'll give people a minute or so to actually get logged on. Please be sure and let us know if uh, you have are having difficulty hearing. Um, we're, we're doing our best to test out um, how many um, actual computers we can have in, in the chamber office space and not interfere with one another's audio here. So I think that we will, I know that some people are still connecting. 
Um, please let us know uh, if you are experiencing any audio or video issues. Um, we'll do our best to make sure uh, that we are not the ones causing those issues. Um, and we will get started with our meeting this morning um, with our routine of uh, doing the Pledge of Allegiance. So I think that Missy has a flag that she can share. And, and if you'd, you'd like, like to join, join me, me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. So, so next. What we will do is um, have our introductions and a little holiday twist this morning is not only would we like you to um, let us know who you are and the business you're with, but also share with us your favorite Christmas movie. And I think that um, either Missy or Brandon will actually go down our participant list and call so that we're not all wondering who should go next. If, okay, sure. All right. So I guess that I'm going to do that. So I guess I have um, Jerry first up in my upper left corner. So why don't you go ahead, Jerry, and, and introduce yourself and tell us what your favorite Christmas movie is. Good morning, all. Jerry Schumacher with First State Bank. And probably the best Christmas movie would be It's a Wonderful Life. Thank you. Um, I, I was not able to hear that. I we're, we're playing with audio here. What was your favorite movie, Jerry? I'm sorry. It's a Wonderful Life, Jimmy Stewart. That's, that's got to be a winner, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Great. Good movie. And um, next, I believe I see Maria Daniels. All right, can you all hear me? Okay, so yeah, I'm Maria Daniels with Reset Business Consulting, and I guess, gosh, I've been thinking the whole time since you said that what my favorite Christmas movie is, but I would probably have to say I really like the Santa Claus with Tim Allen because I love Tim Allen. I think he's hysterical. Comedy is always a good thing. Um, Amanda. Good morning, Amanda Branock, Brown County Board of Developmental Disabilities, um, not Missy Jemison, but you know, I I'll be Missy for the day, that's okay, I don't mind. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Um, but my favorite Christmas movie is Christmas Vacation with Chevy Chase. I see kind of a humor theme going on here. Uh, Robin, I see you next. Hi, Robin Hakes with Locust Ridge Nursing Home. Uh, my favorite Christmas movie is A Christmas Story, and I actually went to visit the house in Cleveland. So, yeah. Tasha, are you able to join us? I saw she was having some difficulty connecting with audio before, so that may be part of the issue. Um, we can come back to her, but um, I guess we'll go around the chamber room next. Um, Missy. Hi, uh, Missy Jemison, and I'm with the Brown County Chamber of Commerce, and my favorite Christmas movie, um, same as Amanda, is Christmas Vacation. Brandon. Okay. Okay, so Brandon and Miss and um, Beth Kress, who are both with us right now, are having a little difficulty. So they're going to um, take turns um, sharing Missy's screen. Um, Beth Kress, Eden Creek Nursing Center. Um, my favorite Christmas movie is White Christmas with Bing Crosby and Roseanne Clooney. Or what's her name? Rosemary Clooney. That's in Roseanne. <laughs> Hi, Brandon Elmore with the Brown County Chamber, and my favorite Christmas movie is probably How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the um, 2000 version with Jim Carrey. It's a classic for me. It came out when I was like, I think five or six, but yeah. <laughs> oh 
Um, so I think that we have everyone except, unless Tasha was able to join us at this point, um, and except for myself, so um, Lynn Harden with the Brown County Public Library and the Chamber of Commerce. And I have to go with Jerry. It's, it's a, a wonderful, wonderful life. life. It's my favorite. I cry every time. And next, we will um, just recognize our new members. We actually had two agricultural concerns um, join this within the last month um, Stroud Farming and PKS Farms, and uh, quite a few renewing members as well. And so we're just really pleased with the support. We know it's been a difficult year and are glad that people are still um, finding that the chamber is important to them. And we will go ahead and move on. I do not believe we have an economic development report today, um, but Missy does have an update on our fundraising. All right, um, so our biggest fundraiser this year is uh, the Brown County Opley game. Um, the sales have been going great. Um, we were um, here in the office on Small Business Saturday where we had a lot of people walk in and buy games. Um, they are still available if you need some um, Christmas gifts. They make great Christmas gifts, uh, keepsakes. Uh, they are for sale here in the office or you can get them at Grandma and Grandpa's gas station or Harold's carry out, uh, both here in Georgetown as well. Uh, they have a, uh, obviously more extended hours, so if you need to get a copy of the game, you can get them there. Uh, the price is $26 in cash or $28 if you need to pay with a credit card. Um, so make sure you get your games um, before Christmas. Missy, did you also want to say a little bit more about the Small Business Saturday, that event? Sure. Um, uh, yeah, since we're moving on to old business, uh, we did have Small Business Saturday here in our office. Uh, this was the first time um, that the Chamber participated in Small Business Saturday, and it was such a success that we do plan to do this every year um, and make it bigger and better each time. So Small Business Saturday happens every year, the Saturday after Thanksgiving. And what we did um, is we opened up our uh, office to small vendors uh, to come in and set up and sell their um, handmade items or whatever items that they had for sale um, while we were in here selling the games. And then we also offered um, free gift wrapping that day to anybody that had bought local and brought their items in here to get gift wrapped. So. Um, like I said, it was a success and we plan on doing that next year as well. Terrific. Uh, we also want to remind people that our annual meeting will be coming up. It is going to be held on January 28th. That is um, uh, a Thursday morning. Uh, it's the fourth Thursday of the month instead of the third Thursday. And normally it's our big business breakfast, but um, obviously there are some constraints about having that kind of a large group. So what we will be doing is conducting the business part of that meeting, um, such as the swearing in of the officers and, and uh, uh, kind of a recap of 2020 and goals for 2021. And we're saving the big awards and the celebration for later in the year when we know we will be able to get together. So I would expect we'll be doing that probably summer or fall um, when we'll actually have the award winners. So um, don't think that it's been canceled just because of the pandemic. It's just been put off a little bit so we can really celebrate the way we're supposed to be celebrating um, the award winners. Hey, um, and let's move on to new business now. Uh, hey. And I'd like to give this opportunity for anyone who has joined us um, this morning to um, share any particular events um, or announcements that um, they'd like people to know about. Who would like to begin? Please feel free to unmute yourself and, and let us know what you have to, to share. Okay, I'll, I'll, sorry, go ahead. Oh, um, you were talking about the 
normally it's the breakfast that you do and you said it would be pushed back to summer or fall the business breakfast yes yes is that the awards also right okay do you still want um names or or what's the word i'm looking for um, nominations yes 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 yeah um we, yeah actually we decided we would put that off a little bit as well okay. so that we are asking for it now and then nothing comes of it so we'll we'll wait until after the first of the year probably gotcha. i don't know first of march maybe that we'll be looking at doing that okay and that'll just come out in an email or something mm -hmm. gotcha. okay thank you. thank you yeah thank you for asking i appreciate that I was just going to say that we have um, the 12 days of Christmas giveaways um, going on right now, the business edition, and actually the chamber is one of the giveaways, giving away a Brown Countyopoly game. And you can find the info on our, um, on Reset Business Consulting's Facebook page, and you can go through and click and enter all of them to be able to win. There's lots of great prizes on there. So. Thank you, Marina. Yeah, definitely. Anyone else? Um, I'll just say for the libraries that we, we are open for business. We just finished up our season's reading program where um, kids and adults both could read um, to earn merry money and then spend it in our Santa shop so they could purchase gifts for family and friends. Um, so there are some things that are still going on even if um, we can't have huge blowout programs and events like we used to in person, um, but we're looking forward to doing that again in the summer. And something new that will be very visible in the next couple of weeks, we are um, starting to offer our curbside service with actually lockers that you'll be able to um, scan much like an ATM machine. You'll go up to the machine, you'll put in the code that you've got and a locker door will pop open and you can retrieve the materials that you've ordered. Um, and uh, the design of the lockers was done by no other than our own Missy Jimison, who is, has a great graphic art, artist talent. Um, so I wanted to give her a shout out out for doing that work for us. They look terrific. Anyone else have any announcements, special events, things that they want people to know before the holidays are, are, are over and take us into the new year? If not, then I'm going to turn this over to Missy who has arranged some fun on Zoom today. Yes, hello. Uh, so uh, our December meeting, we always try to keep it, uh, the business part of it very short and uh, the fun part very long. So uh, even though we can't get together in person this year, we do have some fun games planned for us. And of course, uh, prizes to be won. And we wanna thank um, Southern Hills Community Bank for that. Uh, they were uh, to be the host for this month's meeting. Um, so they are our virtual host and uh, they were the ones that provided the prizes for everyone today. So we wanna thank them as well. So our first game that we're going to do is trivia. We're gonna see how smart everyone is. So if you uh, need to take a second and grab a uh, pencil and a piece of paper, uh, that way you can keep track of your answers. So I'll give everybody just a few minutes to get that, um, to get that ready. And while you're doing that, I will encourage you to um, check out people's Christmas attire. I, I didn't go full ugly, but I've got some sleigh bells that my mother-in-law painted for me on the shirts here. So um, be sure and, oh, Jerry's got a mug. <laughs> cool. Be sure and let us um, be able to see for, for real what you've got um, on for Christmas attire. <laughs> Okay, can everyone see um, my screen I have shared with the questions? Okay, so um, looks like the. Okay, so everyone, um, we're on the honor system here. So just write down your um, own answers and then we will go back through and um, let you know the correct answers and everybody just gets to grade themselves. 
Okay, are you guys ready over there? Yeah. Okay. All right. In a wonderful life, what happens every time a bell rings? Um, question two, who won the Lifetime Achievement Award given at the 2020 Drucker Awards Breakfast? So not just Christmas questions. You actually had to uh, pay attention a little bit throughout the year at some of our chamber events to be able to uh, do well on this quiz. Um, number three, in a Charlie Brown's Christmas, what does Lucy want for Christmas instead of a lot of stupid toys? In How the Grinch Stole Christmas, what is the Grinch cuddly as? Where was the 2020 Chamber Golf, out golf Outing held? While it wasn't our traditional golf outing, we still did get to have a golf outing. And where was that? In the movie Elf, what are the four main food groups according to Buddy the Elf? In the movie Home Alone, what does Marv do at every house that he and Harry rob? This year, which team won the 2020 Chamber Golf Outing? In the movie White Christmas, what are the sisters' names? In the movie A Christmas Story, what gift does Ralphie receive from his aunt? In the game, Brown Countyopoly, which member is located on the space traditionally named Boardwalk? In what city did Miracle on 34th Street take place? In Brown Countyopoly, which bank is on the $100 bill? In National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, what had Clark Griswold been planning to buy with the Christmas bonus that he expected from work.
who is the second Christmas ghost that visits Scrooge in A Christmas Carol? In How the Grinch Sold Christmas, how many sizes the Grinch hearts grow, how many sizes does the Grinch's heart grow once he gets feelings? Which member gave us a virtual tour of their location as part of our June member meeting? In the movie, The Santa Claus, what is the restaurant that Tim Allen's character, Scott Calvin, takes his son to after burning the Christmas turkey? In A White Christmas, what is the name of the inn that Bing Crosby and Danny Kaye's character are trying to save? In Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which reindeer was Rudolph's father? As of today, how many members does the Brown County Chamber of Commerce have? And this is our last question. Uh, in the movie Frosty the Snowman, what were Frosty's first words when he came to life? Okay. How does everyone feel about their uh, answers? Not good, good, got some of them. Okay. We will quickly go through the answers. So like I said, honor system, just mark if you got it right or wrong. We'll give you a little leeway. All right, in A Wonderful Life, what happens every time a bell rings? An angel gets its wings. Who won the Lifetime Achievement Award at the 2020 Drucker Breakfast? Bruce Lunsford. In A Charlie Brown's Christmas, what does Lucy want instead of a lot of stupid toys? She wanted real estate. In the How the Grinch Stole Christmas, what is the Grinch cuddly as? A cactus. Where was the golf outing held? It was at Friendly Meadows Golf Course. And what are the four main food groups? Candy, candy canes, candy corn, and syrup. Has anybody tried that? We did. My, you did. <laughs> my kids pestered for that meal for months, and so we finally let them do that me that meal with the pop tarts and everything. How was it? They. I don't think it was quite the way they expected it was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> In Home Alone, what do Marvin and Harry do when they rob a house? They leave the water running. Which team won the golf outing this year? It was the Eagles. In a white Christmas, what are the sisters' names? 
Betty and Judy. In a Christmas story, what gift does Ralphie receive? A pink bunny suit. In Brown Countyopoly, which member is located on Boardwalk? It is Ohio Valley Manor. In what city did Miracle on 34th Street take place? New York City. Uh, which bank is on the $100 bill? And that is Merchants Bank. In Christmas Vacation, what was Clark planning to buy? He wanted to buy a swimming pool. And what was the second ghost to visit Scrooge? The second ghost was the ghost of Christmas present. In How the Grinch Sold Christmas, how many sizes did his heart grow? Three sizes. Which member gave us a virtual tour of their location? It was CMT Components or CMT Trust uh, was their name as well. Um, in Santa Claus, which restaurant did they end up going to? They went to Denny's. In White Christmas, what is the name of the inn? The Columbia Inn. And which reindeer was Rudolph's father? It was Donner. As of today, how many members do we currently have? We have 256 current members, which is amazing. Um, and in Frosty the Snowman, what were Frosty's first words? Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. All right, so anybody get them all right? No, no, how, how many questions were there? 20, 22. 22? Uh, anybody 20, right? Oh, I had 20. I count 28 questions total. You answered 22? I counted 28 questions. 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh, okay. I can't even read my own writing. <laughs> okay, so, so 22 <laughs> questions. Nobody got 22 right. Did anybody get 20 right? 18? 18, I got 18. Lynn got 18. Does anybody, nobody got higher than 18? Nope. nope. I'm a good guesser. <laughs> so Lynn, of your choice of gift cards, would you choose? I'm going to abdicate because I might have some, I might know too much about the chamber, so I, I don't think that's quite fair. So Okay, so you're going to, we're going to default to the next, okay, yeah. 17? 16. Beth got 16. Okay. Do you feel like you know too much? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Would you prefer a Skyline gift card or La Rosa's? You get your, your pick. La Rosa's. Okay. And again, thank you to Southern Hills Bank for providing that. Um, Beth gets a $25 gift card to La Rosa's and she will get a copy of uh, the Brown County Opley game as her prize as well. All right, so we have another fun game. Um, you know, a lot of times when we do these virtual games, we have to sit here in front of our computer and we kind of sometimes tune out. So this game, you're actually going to have to get up and move around just a tiny bit. Um, so this is called a virtual scavenger hunt. And depending on if you are in your office or at your house, you might have an advantage on some of these. So the goal is to get up, go find this item either in your house or your office, 
and run back and hold it up in the screen and whoever gets back here first gets the point. And so whoever has the most points um, will be the winner. So we have five things to go find and then um, we have a bonus item. So, so plan to get up and down at least five times. So the first item, and we can play this here in the office too, because uh -oh. some of these items are here. The first item I want you to go find is a Christmas ornament. Ready to close the store. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Amanda, Amanda found one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll wait till everybody gets back. Wow. You are quick, that Amanda. Fast. Take my shoes off. This is gonna get real. <laughs> <laughs> Beth is Congratulations, Amazon. <laughs> So, Amanda, it looks like your Christmas ornament might be homemade. Did someone make that for you, or do you have a little story about your Christmas ornament? Um, every year, just the girls in the office, we just it, get little gifts for each other, and it's it, it actually is made out of one of those little um, wooden um, ice cream. Remember when we were in school oh. and you got the containers of ice cream with the little wooden spoon mm -hmm. on top that's what it's made out of awesome yeah that is that is neat yeah well point one goes Thank to you. amanda all right it looks like maria is still out <laughs> searching for her christmas ornament <laughs> It looks, it looks like she's at the, at the bank, so she, who knows where she had to go in her building to find one. We'll give her just a couple more seconds to get back. So maybe while we're waiting, anyone who's wearing Christmas attire that wants to be uh, uh, in the running can make sure. What have you oh got on there, Robin? <gasps> <laughs> and I got little Reindeers on my head. What's it say? Is that Rudolph on those blood? antlers? <laughs> I love it. I think so. I don't Here's know. Can you see? It's the ugly unicorn. <laughs> Missy, I wore that same shirt yesterday. Okay, so Maria's back. You're really I slow. I had to run. I know. I had to run all the way to the front of the building, <laughs> run all the way back. I was like, crap, of all the things. <laughs> okay. Item number two, something that was gifted to you. I got my shirt, my mother-in-law. Amanda. Again. <laughs> Does it have to be a Christmas gift or just nope, anything that was gifted to you? My coffee mug. Your coffee mug? I didn't have to get up. Okay. okay. That'll so that go to Amanda as well. well. She was pretty quick when we're all there. All right. I don't, I don't think Amanda's going to have this sitting next to her at her desk. So does anyone have a Christmas stocking? Oh, Robin. Robin, has Robin got it first. I felt like all of you all are very festive and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and Robin, and Robin, is that your Christmas stocking that gets filled or someone else's? Yours? It's mine, but it never gets filled. No. <laughs> Santa, Santa doesn't treat me very good. You, you must not be on the nice list then, huh? I must not. <laughs> All right. So here's something that maybe is, a, is an advantage to those people that are actually in the office today instead of uh, the opportunity to sit at home. Um, who has a stapler? Oh. I saw Amanda's first. Tasha, you were right there, close, but I think Amanda's in the lead with three. Everything ready to take your Yep. <laughs> All right, the next item an edible Christmas goodie. Something that you can eat. Christmas. Oh, oh my goodness. Gosh, Amanda, <laughs> you just have everything oh, right there. <laughs> What, what, what kind of treat is that? <laughs> so it's a one of those um, chocolate covered pretzels 
It's a pretzel dipped in chocolate and then the mini marshmallows on it. And did you make that or did someone make it for you? No, one of the girls at work gave it to me. Very nice. Yeah. That does look good. Very good. All right, so our last item before our bonus item, any type of photograph. I got it, I got it. You got it? You got oh, it. Tasha. Uh, Tasha it. Tasha had it first. Yeah. What photograph do you have, Tasha? Um, I actually have two. The one's me and my daughter, and the bottom one's me and my family. Oh, very nice. Nice to have those photographs right there with you at work. All right. So the bonus item um, is not going to be judged on speed. It's going to be judged on creativity. I want you to go find an item and bring it back. And this item has to scream, this was 2020. Oh, wow. An item that if you hold up, we know that it, it's 2020. <laughs> that yeah, <laughs> Tasha. Yeah. <laughs> but creativity. Okay, okay, Maria. <laughs> Maria brought a bottle of wine. What they want? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, I was expect. oh, there we go, Robin, I was expecting someone to bring a roll of toilet paper. Wow. So yes, that, that's, uh, all of those items are perfect, they, they scream 2020, um, it's definitely a year to remember, and, and if we can't laugh at some of this, then, you know, <laughs> a great way to finish out finish out our game and uh, we do have to say, Amanda, you were pretty quick on the draw there and, and got your stuff, so. I just wanted uh, you to see this ornament. It says 2020 with a mask and it says one star. It says would not recommend. Oh. <laughs> would not recommend, that's, that's great. That's perfect. All right, so you, looks like you get a $25 gift card to Skyline. And you also get a Brown County Opoly game. So I will get that to you. Nice. Thank you, Southern Hills Bank, for that. You're very welcome. And then um, our last um, prize is just um, who your choice of your favorite Christmas shirt that um, people have on. So if you will just get into the chat room and private message me your choice. Um, so, so Lynn had, had on a Christmas bell shirt. I had on a Christmas vacation shirt. Um, Beth has on a Christmas uh, unicorn shirt, <laughs> unicorn Christmas shirt. Um, <laughs> Amanda had on a Merry Christmas shirt. Um, Tasha looks like she has on an old snap uh, it's a ginger <laughs> gingerbread <laughs> shirt. And Robin, what does your shirt say, Robin? It has some dogs on a motorcycle. It says scooting into Christmas. Reindeer scooting. on a scooter. Okay, scooting into Christmas, and they're all on a little scooter. So <laughs> if you'll just private message me your choice, it could be what if you thought it was the funniest, the cutest, you just liked it the best, whatever judging criteria you want to go with, just let me know um, who, which sweater that you liked the best. Sure, that will work. Um, and then um, we have a short, hey, just, yes. Hey, Miss. Every, there's some people that are private messaging me because I have your name. Can you just tell them to do it at the chamber? Okay, yes, uh, private message, the one that says Brown County Chamber, not the one that says Missy. Um, yeah, we just had a technology 
thing this morning going on. So yeah, uh, so while I'm tallying up the votes, we will play just a short uh, little video from our host uh, today, uh, Southern Hills Bank. Again, we want to thank them for the prizes. We want to thank them for being our host today. Um, we're sorry we didn't get to come to the bank and see you guys in person, but we did prepare uh, this little video for you guys. So uh, watch this while I am tallying up the votes. Um, let me see. It was it was downloading while we were doing the meeting. So let me check and see if it's if it's downloaded. And while Missy's doing that, I just want to take the opportunity to um, wish everyone a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, um, be safe, be well, and um, just count your blessings. The following is a short. Okay. There we go. Okay. I think I found the video now. message from our meeting. The following is a short message from our meeting host, Southern Hills Community Bank in Ripley. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Southern Hills. We're once again glad to host um, our, one of our meetings. It has been for December. And we're glad everyone's come, and um, I mean, know it's a little different because of COVID. So, but we're glad to be here. And uh, just to share a little bit about Southern Hills. One, we kind of wanted to share our tree for the for several years now. The first grade classes at uh, Ripley Elementary have made, have made our ornaments. So um, we invite anyone to come and, and see our tree in our office, in any of our offices. Um, all of our offices are decorated and we're just I'm proud to be a part of that, so we're glad for that. Um, we've got Kroger in our lot now. Kroger's is um, has a we're part of their click list location. So if you're close to Ripley or or whatever, um, make out your list and you can pick it up here at Ripley or at Southern Hills. I've got Ripley. sidetracked there, <laughs> so but we're glad about that. Um, what else are we doing? What else did we say? Oh yeah, we, of course we're we're glad that we could give our the gift giveaway today and for the games we had and um, hope everyone enjoys those. And the food, yeah, we each office um, through the part of November and through December fourth, um, each of our offices um, collected for each of the local food pantries in their in their town. So we're glad to be a part of that and. You know, that's one way, you know, if you don't, if you want to participate with giving, anyone can do that. So ours for Ripley went to Ripley First Presbyterian. And the Georgetown went to Georgetown Baptist Church. And oh, okay. You're meeting yeah. from there. From there, okay. So we're trying to be a part of things. And um, so we're just glad to be able to sponsor this month's meeting. So hope everyone has a good day. Maybe Merry next, Christmas. and Merry Christmas. Maybe next year we'll be able to have everyone back upstairs where we normally have our meetings. So, so thank you very much. And by the way, Kroger's is having a hometown holiday this Friday from five to eight. And Santa's gonna be here for socially distanced selfies and they're gonna have some giveaways. So it sounds like a fun evening. It does, yes. And what time is that from? Five to eight. Five to eight. Okay. Yeah, on Friday. really like our fireplace. What bank can you come in and have a seat and be comfortable with a nice fireplace? And we got Joanna's, our branch manager, sure nutcrackers, and a lot of these were her dad's that he collected, and she's been gracious to let us display them in our office, so we really enjoy that. And Joanna made all of our wreaths that you see, the Christmas, with the Christmas ornament wreaths. She made all of those. And, uh, and this is Joanna. Hello. Dubin, our branch manager for Ripley. 
And then we got Jen Moore, who is our customer service representative Hello. for Linkly. And then we always have to put our nativity out. An interesting fact about this scene, this scene was donated by one of our former employees, Nancy Linkus. A lot of you will know Nancy. So we really, really cherish it. Um, so we always put it out every year. Yeah, we've got our staircase all lit. And we've got our lamps, lanterns in the front, at the front. That one's not on. We're using the extension cord. So we're really proud of our office. So each office is decorated. So every, anyone can go see them and see what we, how we're ready for Christmas. I see that Michael joined us in person as well, and we just want to thank them for putting that to video together. Um, very tasteful decorations. And I think I saw a C-3PO nutcracker on that uh, display there. So somebody's got a Star Wars uh, fan on staff probably. Is there anything else that anyone would like to share with the group before we call it a day? or morning anyway, I don't know about you, but my day's got quite a few hours left in it. <laughs> and the winner of our Christmas attire contest is Robin. Yay, Robin. I think it was the antlers that did it. <laughs> you get a Brown County Apple game. Congratulations to all of our winners and thank you all for participating and having a little bit of fun um, on Zoom and um, running all over your uh, premises to find the, the little thing, the scavenger hunt. That, that was nice to be able to do that and, and get away from the screens for a bit. Um, thank you for sharing of your time and, and of yourselves and I just wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. Same to you. Merry Christmas.